Back in the day, there was one Super Mario spin-off game that was a bit weird. Super Princess Peach. It came out of nowhere and was extremely different from anything else. However, what would happen if Nintendo made a new Peach spin-off? Something completely new. Well, let's find out. Now with the release of Super Princess Peach, Nintendo marked a change of roles in the Mario series. It was her turn to save Mario and Luigi from King Bowser. With the aid of a talking umbrella named Perry, she tried to take on the evil that threatens her dear Italians and uses the power of emotion to get through the levels. It was made for the Nintendo DS and released in 2005. It was quite a basic 2D side-scroller similar to Yoshi's Island. Here and there it featured some new elements like the fact that Peach can attack with her umbrella and the entire emotions mechanic. Now it's been 13 years since this game was released and they only managed to sell 1 million copies in all that time. A game like Mario vs Donkey Kong did a lot better with the last one selling almost 3 million. So this Peach game wasn't really a commercial success. The shift, for some reason, didn't work with Peach, which is kind of strange because other characters that also got a standalone game like Yoshi with his Yoshi's Island series were a huge success. Our green little dinosaur still exists till this very day. A new one is even in the works for the Nintendo Switch. So if they would ever make another Peach game, then I expect it to be quite different from the previous in almost every way. However, what kind of game would this be then? Well, let's take a look at Peach herself to find out what would be fitting. Throughout her life, Peach has mostly been a side character in franchises like the Super Mario series. Besides that, she's been seen in some other spin-off titles, like sports games, Paper Mario, Super Smash Bros, and more. The only game where she actually had a serious role was Super Princess Peach. So when it comes down to it, a lot is possible. However, looking at her personality, which is classy, kind, clever, sociable, and adventurous, her powers such as jumping, ground pounding, and more, and her position as the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, I can see three possible types of games she could star in. First up, a strategy game. Now, you would think, Why this kind of game, Wily? Where did you get this mad idea from? Well, that's actually quite easy. Peach is widely respected in the Mushroom Kingdom and beyond. Her toads are very loyal and her citizens adore her. Many people in the Mushroom Kingdom and beyond even buy and collect her merchandise. So if evil would ever try to invade the kingdom, they would certainly offer their services to the princess. And there are actually two events in the Mario games where a strategy game could be set. The Shroob Invasion or any of the Bowser attacks. Especially the first one would be a cool pick because they ended up attacking and almost destroying the entire kingdom. So seeing that fight unfold and them losing in the end, so that Mario and Luigi can save them, would be an interesting plot. Now I don't expect Nintendo to make something similar to a game like Total War or Age of Empires. They don't really have any experience with this, and something as hardcore as that would be more fitting for the Legend of Zelda series. However, a turn-based strategy game where you also need to manage troops and resources is certainly possible. They have experience with this kind of stuff. We have seen a ton of these games. Just look at the Paper Mario series. Alright, let me give you an example. The world map has a similar structure to the normal 2D side-scrolling Mario games. There are only two major differences. First of all, there are multiple routes. And secondly, when you're about to select a level, you can choose to send a spy and possibly get info on what you will encounter. The reason why you would implement these two is to give the player multiple options on how to take back land and for them to have the option to prepare for a fight and use actual strategies. Once you enter the level, it turns into some sort of huge battleground for that area and you fight enemies using the turn-based system, taking back your land bit by bit. Outside of these battles for land, castles, towns and more, you get time to manage troops and prepare for certain events. You could even add in a mechanic where you can also lose territory if you don't pay attention or the option to rebuild towns and get new resources and troops as a reward. It would be a bit like a combination of Fire Emblem and the Mario and Luigi series. 
Personally, I find this concept quite cool, and I bet Nintendo can pull it off. It would also be similar in a lot of ways to Bowser's Minions, which was released with a remake of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In this game you also build an army, can adjust things to your needs, and take on other groups of enemies that Fawful sends after you. You essentially appoint a captain, select the minions you want, level them over time and take on hordes of enemies. Nintendo could easily take this idea, expand on it even more, and create an extremely cool strategy game out of it. They could even add in the Bowser minions so that you can play as the villain, which could be very fun for multiplayer. If this game is successful, then we might actually see a full standalone game of this concept, with the chance of Peach getting a bigger role. Now you would think I got this whole idea from Bowser's minions in the first place, but actually... I totally forgot about it when writing this script, until Kotlaw, my editor, pointed it out. Most of the things they have to do are quite easy for them, because they have experience with it. And for a title, you could go with something like Mushroom Kingdom Wars. With Princess Peach as the leader and general of her army, she could play a major role in the story and even as a playable character. Now another thing they could do is some sort of puzzle game, where she uses the toads to complete certain tasks. It would be similar in ways to the Mario vs Donkey Kong series, but this time without the rivalry, and set in the real world instead of a toy setting. Now I don't know what the goal and exact story would be, but a lot is possible, and I bet Nintendo could do some cool things with this. They could certainly make puzzles on a bigger scale now that you can use toads, and it's all set in the real world. For example, one set in New Donk City where you have to mess around with the girders to get to your objective. Now you could say, but Wily, this sounds like Captain Toad's treasure tracker. Well, yes, in some ways. But a way to make it different and more interesting is by using a lot of Toads. And I mean, a lot. I'm talking about starting off with 10 and ending up with 50. Using them to progress by solving puzzles and tackling challenges. Now, my last idea for a Princess Peach game is actually from something recent. A thing seen in Super Mario Odyssey. Because in the post-game, Peach disappears from her castle, having packed things up, deciding she wanted to explore the various kingdoms on her own terms. She can be encountered in various places, where she'll provide Mario with the relevant Power Moon when talked with. After giving Mario the Power Moon, she then makes a brief comment that hints at her next destination. So maybe Nintendo could make some sort of exploration game where Peach goes all around the place. Now I don't know what kind of specific goal there would be or things you could do in this game, but there are a couple of options. They could make a similar game to Super Princess Peach with the Odyssey Worlds, and others seen in different Super Mario games. Seeing places like Isle Delfino and New Donk City in 2D this time would be a fun twist. However, it would be better if they left out the emotion powers. Now I don't really have an idea what could replace it, but Peach is quite an open canvas, so they could do almost anything. This game would be some sort of Princess Peach Explorer type of deal. It would be fitting for her adventurous personality at least. But Nintendo could always ignore Peach and keep her as a side character for Mario's adventures. The last game where they tried to give her a bigger role failed after all, so the chances of them trying again are very slim. So sadly enough, I don't expect them to ever do anything about Peach, her minor role. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Of course you enjoyed, you're at the end of the video, duh! Please subscribe, click the bell, like, and dislike at the same time because algorithm and, and comment, comment video game titles to boost me in the search mechanism and, 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 and I, I don't know, just, just do whatever you want.